Hello Taurus and welcome to your Astro Flower reading. This is going to be from the 21st through to the 26th of uh, February. Funny February, and boy is it a funny February. Uh, this is going to be a timestamp video going through your chakras, your aura and your tarot reading, your weekly tarot reading at the end of uh, this video. It will be timestamp, you'll be able to go straight to it if you so desire. Uh, right, so let's just get straight in here. We're going to go into the chakras. So Let's just see what's going on with um, your chakras here. Which seems to be fine. Very solid, in fact. Probably going into that last three months before your birthday. Yeah, and your root seems to be okay. Now, we've been going on about the fusing of the two, uh, the heart and the... And the solar plexus as well which seems to be still going on at the moment but what we're going to do here is going to tie it straight into you as an individual that was more on the sort of collective thing and how you put your energy into the collective environment of the changes that's happening in the um in this paradigm as we move from one paradigm to another so that's the solar plexus i think we need to come back and have a look at that there seems to be um a a part of the solar plexus that is not firing properly so we need to have a look at that uh, let's see what's going on in your heart chakra when we get back to these petals this is down onto a personal level yeah there's a lot of movement on that as well and I think that's I think we should be looking at that as well let's just see what's going on on the third eye and the throat chakra that seems to be okay. Okay, and I, I think these functioning between the heart and the uh, solar plexus are actually playing on your consciousness at the moment. So um, let's just have a look. Let's go straight into this solar plexus and see what's going on there. Why is that one not firing? Let's go to the root. Let's bring it up, take it out of the man, and you look at it as a sort of why is that one there not firing? That petal there, because it translates to that petal there in the back, and that's the inversion point. Therefore, in the inversion point, we need to switch that over. Why is that switched over? Okay, so there seems to be like an underlining, um, what you may fail this week is an underlining, um, well, how, you know, uh, sort of um, not apathy, it's um, doubt or almost a case of, you know, not believing in yourself, sort of lack of belief within your heart's direction. And it's sort of, it seems to be creating a bit of doubt in the way of sort of, will this work, will this not work, sort of thing. There might be some aspects of your life that are really working, because the rest of the solar plexus is really nice, it's beautiful. It's well formed, it's got lovely colors and stuff like that. Let's put it back there, sorry. So it's well formed and well colored and stuff like that. But it's just that top petal there, which translates to the bottom petal there. And in the inversion point there, that is where it seems to be, <clears throat> it almost seems to be a doubt of your reason of who you are. It doesn't seem to be a doubt in what you're doing physically. So it's, I don't think it's going to be concerned with your, your job, your business or your projects and stuff like that. It's much more concerned with who am I sort of thing. There seems to be that sort of questioning going on. Hey, we're in the last three months. I've just realized it's in the last three months before your birthday. This is moving into autumn period this is exactly what we go into on the uh, astro flower books i will be doing a special on the rhythms as well which i would advise you to watch to understand these rhythms and understand the ebbs and flows of energies that can be produced throughout you uh, in different parts of the year but so uh, you know i wouldn't i would i would like to see in the tarot reading what's going on and how your guides are interacting with you that's petals uh, five, seven, eight, and nine, basically, in the Astro Flower, and we'll look into that 
uh, within your weekly reading, which is time stamped and comes up a little bit later on. But let's just sort of, and I think this is on a personal level, so I can't just sort of, you know, within my healing, I, you know, I, you can turn things on, switch things off and stuff like that. But morally, in a way, it's, I'm not allowed to do that because it's almost like programming people. And I don't particularly like that idea. Consciousness has to play out in its fullness. So um, this is like almost as like I've got to be your coach in a way, to be your biggest supporter, Taurus, and sort of saying, go on, Taurus, you can do it. And that's the sort of attitude you really need to give yourself. You do need to look inside, yeah, by the way, uh, over this. You do need to look inside. You do need to start just analysing what, the situations are around you what could be better and what could be you know could be improved and everything like that and how you can have that interaction with that on a on your personal level because we're all living different lives and obviously this is a general meaning for Taurus so um I think this is the um this is the main idea and it's self-support it's self-encouragement and I so I would be gentle with yourself this week maybe but also firm fair but you know firm but fair with yourself and just look at the situations and it does seem to tie in more into a physical connection with the situation so it could be a physical connection with with a relationship with a with a friend with a with a family member and stuff like that that's or it could be to do with your physical world of what exercises you do or what sort of pleasures you partake in uh, that sort of thing um, I don't think it's to do with money. It doesn't seem to be doing with that sort of thing. Um, but let's just see now what, so, you know, that self-encouragement, I think that's sort of like, that's why it'd be interesting to see what your guides say in your tarot reading. Let's just see what's going on in your heart. So this is, I'm not, I don't think it's, um, it's a, so your heart chakra, let's just put it flat, bring it up flat. So you can see from above here, so this is the center here, and then you have the petals that go out flatly on both sides, and then you have the petals that go out gently on the back. So out the front here, it's got these petals here are much more developed, which is opposite to your solar plexus. Normally this does sort of happen. They do play in tandem. They're not connected directly, but they do feed off each other. And this feeding here seems to be a case of uh i want love i want appreciation i want um uh or you want to appreciate it's not just one way traffic here this is um you want to be you want life to be appreciative <laughs> is that is that right you know uh, it, and it seems like there's there's definitely love there or the desire for a active love life and that could be with a partner that could also be with friends and stuff like that but there's a sort of it's almost as if like you know you're at the airport waiting for those people to come through off the flight and you're waiting for their arrival and you're standing there kind of next person next person oh no is it then it's you know it's it's like that it'd be interesting to see what how it plays out but it's very light very bubbly very nice um and i would encourage that that enthusiastic side within you uh, and I think that can give you a little bit of um, uh, sort of leeway with the solar plexus, basically. Now, um, it will, you know, take a little bit of pressure off that solar plexus. I think it's very good for you to look at yourself. I think it's really important at this, this time. So I would definitely do that. But at the same time, <coughs> excuse me, at the same time, you do need to, you know, you, your, your sacrum has got that good balance in it. So there's a good connection between work and play ethics and yeah you know it allow that heart to throw things into the mix that you kind of go yeah why not let's try it sort of thing you know it's that's the sort of light and bubbly I wouldn't be surprised if the um, if the page of wands turns up in your in your reading somewhere maybe even on petal six right in the center on your crown chakra, now this seems to be playing a little bit on your crown chakra because the crown chakra is actually quite large uh, and it's it's still nice, it's still well shaped so it's not causing too much problem but if you do weigh up too much of the emotions in your head it's going to overflow and that's what causes the problem that causes the, you know, the crown chakra to sort of 
to collapse, as it were. And when it collapses like that, everything comes down upon you uh, in the way of kind of going, oh, that's not my... It's a very heavy energy that comes through all the emotions within the rest of your body. It's a good way of cleaning, I guess. It's like having a shower. But at the same time, I think here is there's enough support here to deal with stuff, regard them firmly and fairly, regard oneself firmly and fairly, and I think with that, and with a bit of encouragement within yourself, you're going to do fun. It's going to be a good. Uh, it's going to be a good week in funny February because it is funny February. Okay, so uh, those are the sort of um, three chakras. There. Let's just have a look. Um, going on, what's going on in your aura? Seeing if there's any sort of um, situations here. Uh, there is a degree of. <laughs> It's generally very nice. It's it's really beautiful. It's it's smooth. The energy is flowing nicely. It's consistent, uh, which is good for you at the moment. But, and it is a small but. There is a case here where, um, and I think this is because you're looking. At, you you know you might find yourself looking inside your life at the moment, and uh, this week, and you know you may look inside and then compare it with the outside world. So what's happening here is the influence on the outside world could sometimes be a little bit too much. So I would also, um, with this um, uh, with this solar plexus situation going on, be a little bit discerning, not only with yourself, that fair but firm but fair with yourself, but I would also apply this to the outside world. You're getting a lot of influence from the outside world at the moment. Um, and... You know, you're, you're part of a herd, but you don't necessarily want to be the following of the herd, if you know what I mean. Um, you do need to be, you know, somewhere at the front, you know, pushing the boundaries a little bit, I think, Taurus. This is definitely your year in order to do this. Um, and so the influence in the outside world is is a fair influence at the moment, but just be wary that you don't just go running off and following, you know, sort of schisms from in the outside world basically uh just be wary of that just be wary of the influence of the people that are around you they they probably want the best for you that is you know the majority of people do want the best for that you know your friends your family and your loved ones but at the same time even if they do want the best for them that's what they want and i think it's important for you to focus on what you want um yeah so you know definitely get into that definitely have a look at that and see what's um uh what's playing out on that sort of front really uh so i'd be just a little bit wary of the influence on the outside world let me just check i've got the cards up the right way around sorry about that um so yeah there you go that's your chakra and your aura reading let's just get on to what's going on with your cards now uh, for those of you who don't know about the Astro Flower, um, you know, there's introduction videos and stuff like that and talk about petals. We will go into more masterclasses on the petals and stuff like that. But uh, this is basically how the universe, how the how the universe and your guides influence you. What is the influence from your karmic path uh, and what is the outcome from it all? OK, so let's just start straight off with petal six. Well, petal six, that's the central petal. So this is the central thing from within. So um I said uh, it would be the page of wands, I think. Uh, it'd be interesting to see if it actually comes out here. It may come out on your karmic path. But here we got the hangman. So the hangman is looking at things in a different way. The thing is, the hangman is hanging from the tree of knowledge. So uh, what you're doing is, is you're looking at things uh, in the world that is around you with the knowledge of who you are. But looking at the world differently so in order so you can actually look at yourself in a different way. You know, life does sometimes be like a mirror to you. That does certainly happen. Um, and looking at the world in a different way, you're going to get a different view of the prism that you look through uh, when you're looking at life. And I think this is starting that process, which is going to last three months. It's going to last to your birthday from now on. Okay. Because uh, we're moving into Pisces now. So we're into that process. Uh, if you want to know about that, we're doing a special on Sunday night. Or we've got the collective reading on Sunday night. The collective reading for March. 
magical march i'm starting to call it i tell you so yeah it is all about at the moment all about you is looking on the inside so this is a karmic path for your um for your relationship side four of cups yeah do you know what you know when i said you were um <laughs> When I said you were like sitting at the airport waiting for those people to come in, that's not too dissimilar sort of situation. And I would be wary of being disappointed. And that's when we come into the solar plexus about it. Don't be disappointed uh, in life because you're missing that opportunity that's just behind you. And this is why you've got to look at things in a different way. Maybe it's not a case of standing, waiting for those people to come through. Look around the airport. You know, there may be things that are kind of going, oh, wow, look at that, and trigger your trigger your fancy. So then, therefore, you are not got that frustration of waiting for that person to come through. And then that person comes through, you turn around, and there they are. And bingo, you know, you've, you've not only discovered a thing about yourself, but then also you haven't noticed the time waiting around for that. Do, do you understand what I mean? So I think this is an engagement into relationships uh, around you in a different way in regards to the hangman. Let's just see how the universe is trying to influence you here. Seven of Cups. So Seven of Cups is all about uh, choosing your evident path. You may have a multitude of choices around you at the moment, but if you do look at them with earnesty, and this is what we were talking about, looking at the world in a different way. If you do look at them with, with fairness and firmness within you, uh, it is gonna be so evident what you should be doing. And the universe is trying to help you out here. The universe is, will be counseling off things and allowing other things to get bigger so they become more evident and obvious to you. Let's just see, um, so the universe is really helping you out here. I think this cup here is feeding into this cup here with the four of cups. You know, that's what it's doing. It's This is what the universe is offering you, that one cup here. And on this here, you've only got one cup that's providing that beautiful river, that refreshing water, you know. So, um, yeah, I would um, most certainly, um, you know, start in earnest of concentrating on your, of your, um, on your path. Page of cups. Now, this is what I was talking about where you're, you, you've got that desire, you've got that willingness, it's got that sort of, you know, it's that whole idea of a pigs might fly, but who cares? Let's just try and see if pigs can fly. Miracles can happen. And I think that attitude, if you carry that attitude through you in your relationships, I, I think you're gonna find yourself in a really beautiful position where regardless of what happens in life, it's always going to be interesting and fun. Um, even if that person turns around and sort of says, no, I don't, don't like you, don't wanna be with you, you know, and kind of go, all right, okay, well then that's opened up loads more doors for you to actually enjoy life in different ways. You know, and it's just, it's whatever sort of happens, if you take that attitude, I think whatever happens, and this is how your guides are trying to influence you through the coincidences that are around you. And they're influencing you in the sense of, it's almost as if like, these are the guides here. You're dreaming about that pig that's flying, right? And these are the guides here that are trying to sort of say, look what we can offer you. That's what that mystery sort of, you know, hands holding out that heart that are only half, you know, written. Uh, or drawn on that um, card there. And you've got your head in the clouds thinking about the dreams, and you should do. This is all important of uh, exploring, being, you know, looking, having a good look at oneself. Um, this is the uh, guides here, uh, up here. <laughs> Five of Cups. Now, we come back to this thing, right? One cup there. One cup there, yeah? That one cup there, yeah? And on this card here, she's holding that one cup. What your guys are trying to do here on, and, and I'd be very attentive to, to what is going around, uh, going on around you um, at the moment. Because yes, if you look back in the path, past, obviously there's going to be situations where you're going to say, oh, I didn't like that, or that was painful, Oh, oh, I didn't do that well, and stuff like that. And that's what the Five of Cups is doing. It's it's um, illuminating the disappointments in the life. And as they illuminate it, you can let go of them, of those disappointments. And she's actually holding one cup. 
And where's that cup? It's right going right next to a little path that runs behind her. And that is seeing the world in a different way this week, where you can actually start defining your path going forward. And uh, as you do, you're going to realise that it's the most evident path that the universe is trying to do this. Now, this is in regard to your relationships. So, um, you know, having that bubbly, happy heart chakra, which we talked about, which is, comes through through the Page of Cups, is going to be a lot of moments where it's going to sort the chaff on the wheat just because of your enthusiasm for life. If you apply that into your relationship, it's going to be blatantly obvious which relationships are, you know, uh, of a fair exchange or a good exchange between you and the other person. Let's just see what's going on in your physical side of life. So this is your karmic path. Well, well, this is almost opposite to here. This is quite mad. As I said, I think you are on the path. This is your karmic path. So you've got to keep on your path, karmic path here. And I would just keep on a singular sort of path. You're looking out and you you know where you're going. She knows where she's going. She's going towards that sun. She's walking away from that one cup towards the sun. Pure happiness. An amazing times. As I said, physically or materially, I think you've got this covered at the moment. King of Pentacles. This is you. This is the Taurus card. You're holding that one pentacle there. We're down to the one again. That one pentacle. Um, and you have an incredible amount of knowledge behind you, which is the tree of knowledge of the of the hangman. But there's also that wolf on there. And wolf on there is all about... Uh, it, there is a, a, speci- a case for tribes and living together and hierarchy uh, and that sort of thing. Uh, but there is also, um, you know, sort of they, they do they do go, you know, out at night and they sort of like discover things that are a little bit hidden in a way um, from you. So within, you know, as you do go through that and have that authority, this card wants definitely wants to come out. Page of Swords. OK. Now we're starting to get some sort of resemblance that's going on on here. So the universe is just to finish off this King of uh, Pentacles. The universe here is trying to really encourage you to stay on your path. You know what's working in your life. Concentrate on it and make sure it's a very organized, um, authoritarian in a way, but in the way you sort of say, no, this is how it should be and this is not how it should be. So this is what we're going to do sort of thing. It's proven. It works. So follow that. But there is this aspect here now of that page of swords. Now that page of swords... Uh, is with, this is how your guides are trying to influence you. And what we've got here, which is really interesting, is we've now got two pages balancing off one another. Um, and this page of swords here is all about ideas. And these are the ideas that are starting to come through. This is what needs to be confronted within your doubts within you. So these new ideas and sort of saying, can I do this? Can I do this? Ah, oh, I don't know. And this is where your courage comes from. It comes from your solar plexus. So that is the initiator of your, you know, of your actions in the future, your courage to actually go in and go, yes, I'll have a go. Once you try it and you see that it's okay, then what that courage does, it changes into confidence. And this is what you're building up within you this week. It's a um, looking at the world in a different way so the confidence can be converted within your solar plexus in order for the future to you to strive on with confidence, okay? Five of Wands. Yeah, you could say there's conflict. I never, I didn't feel any of that, to be honest, and I didn't see it within your aura. So that card there is definitely not about conflict. It's a learning curve as well. And I, oh, look at this. I'm sorry. Oh, blimey. Right, just going to take a step back. Um, we've got five of wands, five of, uh, five of five of wands, five of cups. Do you see how this balance thing is working out now? And I think you're in a really good state, actually. And I think this five of wands is a learning curve. It's a transitional curve, uh, transitional sort of thing. You are going into this transition of this last three months before your birthday. So it's the reassessment of a lot of things within your life. And you're learning a lot. This is what this card is learning. And this learning is to actually be the higher self. To strive to be the best example of who you can be. That's what it seems like. 
let's just see what's going on um, at the end of the week and how it sort of like files flows into the following week. We got the four of wands. So there is, you know, four of wands can be about, um, you got the king of swords as well at the bottom. So it's a definite, I think here, I think you're going to get something. I don't necessarily think you're going to get um, what you should be doing or where you should be going, but how to go about knowing where you should be going and what you should be doing. I think this is that going through a moment of, a right, a real moment of clarity within you. Um, it's gonna, it's gonna be, yeah, it, a real moment of clarity. Let's just see. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull a few cards just to sort of see if there's anything that um, comes out about what it concerns with. Oh, excuse me. Six of Pentacles. What was I saying earlier on? I think it's about the fair exchange factor. You've got the death at the bottom as well. So the influence is kind of saying, this is a new cycle that's coming through, that's saying goodbye to an old cycle and going on to a new cycle. So I think this, um, you know, this 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 four, this four six of pentacles, and the thing is about this six of pentacles, that this, there's, there's two people underneath it. So in a situation, you have decided with your wise judgment, which is that, to actually invest four pentacles into this person here, and that's the judgment, and the other one on the judgment only gets two pentacles. So it's also deciding how you put your time and effort into things. Um, and being very wise of how you also create that fair exchange around you. I get the lady, I get Pamela Coleman Smith, who did all of that. I can't believe that's still in the pack. And that's the first time I've used this pack for ages. And it's like, that's very weird. So apparently, um, what did she do? She, she did all the, she was a famous um, person back in the 1870s. Um, and she did the drawings for these cards, which are now very much a standard sort of card. Um, and introduced those sort of things um, uh, uh, within the world. So maybe it's a case of for you to actually start initiating and bringing new things into the world. Four of Wands, uh, going through the Four of Wands. I, this is, it's, it, thank you very much, Pamela. I do, I do thank you. So yeah, you're definitely coming through a new dimension here. And this is what funny February is all about. Uh, it is positioning to go through in, from one paradigm into another. And that's going to be initiated in March. Um, so I would, um, by the end of the week, by the looks of things with you, this is amazing. Uh, by the looks of you at the end of this week, um, you are going to realise uh, things, which is going to open that door of transition from one dimension to another, from one way of being to another. That is what is happening this week. It's a little bit of a learning curve, as we've seen through the, out, the rest of it. Uh, but I, as I said, I think at the end, um, you're going to realise not necessarily um, what exactly you want, but more a case of how do you um, position yourself in order to uh, stimulate the idea of getting what you want out of life. Um, and it's it's that realisation, I think, as well, of uh, that you've, it's, it's going to take a little bit of self-examination. Um, firm but fair and everything like that. Taurus, absolutely blurred in reading. Thank you very much for being here with us. Don't forget um, to subscribe and click that bell. That's really important because YouTube are really saping us at the moment. Um, so we need all the, you know, YouTube are definitely not helping. Uh, so um, yeah, it'd be nice to have your support for this channel. Uh, and you can do that as well by sharing this across all the social media platforms that you're on. It'll take you two seconds and it'd be absolutely brilliant, and it would be much appreciated by my good self. Uh, in the meantime, Taurus, don't forget, life should be fun, so please do enjoy.